Hi there, welcome to another episode of Harrison Hobbies. Today we are going to see if we can turn one of these cheapo Amazon generic uh, M18 batteries into something that we can plug into the wall. To do that, uh, the first thing that we're going to use is a Lenovo AC adapter here. Uh, these were for older uh, Core 2 Duo and I think up to maybe 4th gen uh, i-series processors. And the advantage of these versus uh, the newer ones, the newer ones are going to have a 3-pin. One of the wires is going to be data, uh, so that the computer can handshake with the, the power supply, so that basically the computer knows what the power supply is. Older generations didn't have that, so they are going to give you just the pure 18 volts. Uh, so the game plan for today is we will take this, we'll open it up, we'll harvest out the uh, 18650 batteries, and then we will try to wire up the power supply to the power pack. So in a previous effort, I ended up trying to remove all of the electronics from the power supply and plug in just directly 18 volt into the two pins here that output. Uh, but again, the uh, your drill or whatever component you have is going to require some kind of handshake also with the battery pack. So that didn't work. So the second attempt is going to be uh, just going in, removing the batteries, and then hopefully being able to just solder the leads of the power supply directly to the circuit board, and that should give us our 18 volt out. So let's give that a shot and see what happens. Now what I'm doing here, I'm hoping it's going to work. Uh, your mileage may vary. I am not going to accept liability if you end up burning out your tools trying this. I haven't run these yet for long durations to see if it has any negative impact on my equipment. So the first step on here is going to be uh, cutting off the labels here, and then we'll go through here, we'll pull out all of the fasteners, and then we should be able to go in and snip the leads that are spot welded to the battery. So if we look at the drill here, we have pin 1, pin 2 active, pin 3 is not here, pin 4, and pin 5. And if we look at our battery here and map those, we end up with uh, looking like our pin 5 here is our common positive. We have a ne negative 18, negative 18, negative 18. The two far corners here are going to give us our 18 or 20 volts. Uh, so I've removed this battery, so we've opened up the loop, and we're going to try to plug it in and see what happens here. Okay, so now we've got the three lights glowing when we plug that in. So now, because we've closed the loop, <laughs> this should be pretty simple. So we will check and see if we have our 18 and it looks like we are we're going so now very carefully we'll try to put this into the drill and see what happens here oh. okay so now what it's doing is our instantaneous draw is exceeding what this power supply can do so it sounds like the next step is probably going to end up being getting some capacitors. It feels like a pretty dead battery, but uh, but I think that we're, we're good there. So let's go in, we'll pull off all the tabs, we'll pull all the batteries out, and then we'll solder the wires directly onto here. And then end up bending up each of the tabs. There we go. While our soldering iron heats up, we will go in and we will trim back these so they're going to be a little bit more flush. We'll at least try to. So, we'll want this exiting out the back, which would be right there. So we will drill right here. Okay, so our next step is we will feed this through. 
and then we'll do some soldering. thermocouple in there to make sure nothing's going to get too hot. So we got negative soldered onto the negative uh, and then we've got the positive soldered onto the positive here. So now we'll plug it in uh, and we got the three lights to indicate that we have power now. So we will grab our drill and try it out. So have to go really slow and it's kicking out so I think we'll definitely need some capacitors but let's try something with a little less power so the Milwaukee fan probably one of the few accessories that actually has its own power and so this will really work out well when it comes to some of the lights now one thing to note is we do have these uh, from the last time I tried to install them, they're a pain. Because we plan on upgrading the capacitor in here, uh, I'm not going to spend 15 minutes trying to figure out how to make these work. It'll fit just fine without. So we'll just stick a couple of screws in here. So I think for the next steps, what we'll do is we'll put in a bunch of capacitors, or much bigger capacitors. Uh, and then we'll try out some of that. But here we are, let's put it into the drill and make sure that everything is still working okay. Fits in nicely. Get it powered up. There we go. And just like that, we've got a corded M18 tool. So one of the reasons I wanted to do this is I've got a bunch of the M18 9 amp hour batteries and those can keep the light going for several hours but sometimes I'll walk away from a project uh, leaving the light on full and then I'll come back the next day battery's completely dead. So I'm hoping that this here will be able to let us use that light indefinitely plugged in. Uh, we could even put in some like Dean's connectors and stuff like that. Uh, so in the event that you had an 18 volt exterior battery, maybe you're into RC drones or something like that. Uh, that you could have extra batteries there and then you don't have to invest in the uh, the Milwaukee ecosystem. So let's go out to the shop and we'll see if we can get that uh, we can get the rocket light to work. We got our power supply here plugged in. Got our batteries. Ah, first challenge. That's okay. So we got it plugged into our M18 lamp. So we got our high, medium, and low. So thanks to the adapter here, uh, this in theory should be giving us uh, infinite power here, as long as we got an outlet. And while we're out here, just as a bonus, uh, we can do some things that may work. Uh, here we have the M18 oscillating multi-tool. Oh, that is surprising. Okay, so it probably can handle our low setting. And then this one may be relevant, is a transfer pump. Nope. Heard the motor beep and then did nothing. And how about the M18 vacuum? Looks like a nope. But again, all of these, if we have a big capacitor in there, in theory should be able to work. This was a fun project. We were able to validate that we can take an existing Milwaukee battery an aftermarket one, or perhaps a battery that you have that doesn't work anymore. Uh, and then when we combine that with a notebook charger, uh, this one happens to be 4.5 amp, 90 watt AC adapter here, 
but we can take that, we can take our battery, and then we can turn it into something that allows you to connect your M18 tools to mains. Uh, we'll certainly try to make this a little bit more hardened. We'll put some capacitors in. Another thing that we may consider here is uh, trying perhaps a 120 or a 180 watt uh, Lenovo power supply. We'll see how big we can get. Again, doesn't need to be Lenovo, but any power supply from this generation where they didn't have a handshake with the computer uh, and see if we can run some of the more heavy tools. So make sure you're subscribed here so that whenever we get the capacitors in, uh, we'll be able to put them in here and see if that actually helps us run these tools a little bit better. So thanks for watching and check back soon for more videos.